Hi everybody, my name is Simon and welcome to the channel. Lately I've been working on a Volkswagen Jetta uh, from 2008 with a 2.0 TFSI engine. Uh, with the work I've been doing I had to remove the inlet manifold. And this is actually what this video is about. Because uh, I was searching on the internet before I went on with the removal and I was led in all kind of directions. And actually not really any of them helped me at all. Um, this is why I made this video, because uh, hopefully, yeah, I'll be able to uh, uh, to help you, so you don't need to go and, and try all sorts of stuff before you start uh, attempting removing it. Um, but anyway, I'll not dip uh, into details about what specific bolts needs to be removed. Uh, it'll mainly be which parts you need to be removed and the sequence of them. Uh, then I think the rest will go without saying. Uh, the engine uh, does not only exist in a Jetta, uh, it is also seen in Audi, uh, Golf and etc. It is a quite popular engine. It does have some uh, minor faults and this is actually why the inlet manifold has been removed on this car. Uh, the nozzles, uh, injectors has actually been replaced there underneath the inlet manifold. You cannot access them uh, without removing it. And what I'm doing right now is actually I'm trying to remove some of the carbon deposits which uh, uh, build up gradually on the inlet valves due to the direct injection. Anyway, uh, let's jump right to it. First of all, uh, you simply need to lift up the car a little bit, place it on a jack just enough so you can get smoothly underneath it. When that is done, you remove the, there is a, a cover underneath. Uh, an engine cover, I think it's with four bolts, you need to remove that as well. You need full accessibility from below. Uh, I actually made a list, I'm looking at it right now. Uh, with the right sequence. Once that is done, you remove the top engine cover. I guess it goes without saying. You disconnect the connector from the MAF sensor, it is included in this cover. Once you have done that, you remove the fan, the ventilator, it is only attached with four screws and you need to take it down below. It's very difficult getting it up. But in order to take it down below, here we have the charts, uh, turbo charts there, you take, uh, pull out on the intercooler there is a, a kind of metal device you pull out so you can release this tube just to bend it a little bit. When you have done that, then the radiator fan you just saw, you can take it down below. Don't waste time trying to take it upwards. Uh, yes, the next thing you do is you take the rest of the charts air tubing off. Uh, it has two bolts on the engine. One, two, and then you disconnect the wire to the charge pressure. I think it is not simple, so I think this is charge pressure. You disconnect this one, and you remove the upper uh, clamp from the throttle body. Then you can easily take the charge air pressure tubing off. Once you have done that, you remove the throttle body. It is attached with four screws, four bolts it is, and uh, two of them I think is accessed from below. Then we come to the inlet manifold and you might just as well remove the PCV valve. Quite easy, it will give you some more room. And then we, uh, you start uh, taking off the bolts, which I think it's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five uh, bolts above uh, and 
yeah, I think similar, uh, I cannot see, uh, below. Um, and then there is a bolt, which uh, I think the other box is easy to see. This is uh, a profile which is supporting the manifold from below. So the top is uh, on the manifold, there is a knot you need to remove. And this bolt is in the Indian block. So this block bolt is called, <laughs> referred to as the Satan bolt, I can see on the internet. And it is very shitty to get out, it's very difficult. You need to uh, push the oil uh, pin tube a little bit, pull a little bit, it's pretty difficult. Uh, and once you have done that, I actually managed with a 13 mil socket, I think, something like this, with a one quarter uh, tool set just to loosen it a little bit and then I could do the rest with my fingers. This needs to be removed, otherwise you cannot get it out. Um, as I said, I will not completely go into details about, but you have on the inlet manifold, this is what it looks like. You can see all my injectors are stayed in the manifold. You'll have to disconnect the fuel railing, the two you see here. Um, You'll have to disconnect it on the high pressure fuel pump at the right. The EVAP valve you need to disconnect as well and you have a lot of connectors. Uh, you'll have to disconnect the fuel pressure sensors and all those wirings. Uh, but I, that, that goes a little bit without saying otherwise you can simply not get it out. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. That's, uh, I'll just briefly show what it looks like once you have removed it. Uh, it'll give you an idea, perhaps it's nice to see. So this is what it looks like. Yes. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it'll give you a little help uh, when if you're in a situation where you need to remove the inlet manifold. Otherwise, uh, stay safe and uh, take care. Bye-bye.